I'm a fairly passionate art collector. This picture here looks like a red abstract. It's called Something Wicked and the artist is Jane Fielder. She features in my fourth crime novel, which is all about obsession with art. That particular painting, Something Wicked, I just love. It's supposed to be bloody thumbprints and underneath the bloody thumbprints are the words by the pricking of my thumbs something wicked this way comes so, and obviously that's a quote from Shakespeare and also by the pricking of my thumbs is an Agatha Christie novel so it's also got a, a crime writing connection. Ruth Rendell is my favourite crime writer and her books sit on a shelf very close to my desk so that I can look at them and uh, you know remind myself of what good crime writing should be. Uh, I also have a collection of Iris Murdoch novels because Iris Murdoch is my favourite non-crime writer. I'm a poet as well as a crime writer and obviously those seem on the face of it to be two very different genres. I actually think they've got loads in common. Um, you know, if you're writing a poem the structure is crucial. Every word has to support every other word. It all has to be the right shape as a whole and it's exactly the same with a crime novel uh, you know if you're going to plant a clue here it has to come out here in the form of a revelation so um, I don't think that the two genres have got as, as much distance between them as, as people think.